How do you get from 400 billion to a trillion over the next five years simply through growing your assets, or do you also need significant contributions from the Saudi government? You just mentioned two of the things that we're uh, uh, planning to get um, to the one trillion and seventy billion dollars, to be uh, exact. So we have uh, grown our assets. That's uh, the uh, first thing. The second thing is uh, whatever we're receiving from the government in the form of cash and other assets, and uh, we've been getting um, some um, uh, some of these uh, assets and cash. Uh, uh, from the government. The, um, uh, the third thing is the um, dividends that we're getting from um, uh, our investments. And the fourth thing, of course, is the financing uh, that we're getting. And we've been uh, very much active uh, in financing. Having said all of the, uh, these uh, four uh, elements, we, um, we are very much conservative in our uh, books. And I'll give uh, just an example. Uh, the Giga Projects, which is one of six different portfolios or pools of investments that we have at the PIF, has uh, uh, three of the major uh, project, uh, projects, like NEOM, the Red Sea Project, and Gidea, in our books as one real, which is practically nothing. So we think in a few um, years, once uh, uh, parts of these projects get in, uh, operational, all of this value will, uh, will go uh, higher. Yes, sir. Obviously, the focus of the fund is to uh, spur domestic growth in your economy, and a lot of your investments are directed domestically. But that doesn't mean you aren't investing around the world, including here in the U.S. Even though it may become a smaller percentage, the dollars are actually going to grow. How do you view right now those investments, and where are you looking when it comes to the world right now in terms of any particular asset class or geography? That's absolutely right. I mean, uh, maybe the percentages uh, are uh, going lower from 30 to uh, a range between 21 to 25 percent as uh, uh, asset allocation from our uh, asset center management. But the absolute number definitely will be increasing. So we're thinking we've deployed like 150, 130 billion dollars uh, in the uh, best uh, three years internationally. And I think this number will be doubling up, although we're lower in uh, our uh, allocation to the international. Most of the uh, most of the uh, spending will be in the local economy, and it's going to be a new project. It's not going to be in uh, like investments in the secondary market. So we'll be spending money in the Giga projects. We'll be spending money in the sector development. We've uh, spent in the uh, in the past uh, three years or so, um, and. And established in 30 different companies from 10 different sectors, and this number will, will be really increasing. We are committed to uh, spend about 150 billion rials, which is an equivalent of $40 billion as a minimum, an annual basis from 2021 uh, annually until we reach uh, 2025. 20, uh, so uh, that, that means... Um, would like more than tripling our uh, investments uh, in the Saudi economy. Now, looking at the uh, international investments, definitely will be continuing and, and um, deploying more funds, and these funds will be fresh money coming in, and it's going to be recycling of our current uh, uh, investments uh, internationally. We don't have any uh, bias uh, towards um, a certain geography. We always look for the best investment from the long-term perspective. And we've been doing it uh, quite well uh, in the past. Uh, and uh, I'm certain that we will continue on doing the same thing too. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.